As I'm finishing up this shrink wrap, I was trying to think of things that would be helpful for somebody who was just starting. As far as like how the gun works, it's pretty simple. You hit the trigger and it goes. You wanna find your right distance for the heat. Move slowly as if you were using, if you've ever used like spray paint. So nice even strokes and you wanna blend the heat. You can tilt it up and down to either push the heat or pull the heat, depending on which way you're going. Obviously, if you hold it there for too long, it's just gonna burn a big hole in it. Leave like six inches at the bottom and then just heat it, fold it up. The things you wanna watch out for, you know, you fold the seam, heat in there, and it'll stick to itself. I never hit it directly on with heat. I go around it and that seems to work out great and it keeps it nice and thick. You can see I like to leave it open underneath and that allows airflow so it's not getting all moldy in there. I have never seen a problem. I had one guy and me shrink wrap them individually. That was such a pain in the butt. Wrapping them double is the way to go. The jet pump. I never covered those up. Never had a problem. I wouldn't worry about it. See this side you can see is on the outside and this whole middle part I folded it under. That way when the rain comes down it's not just going right in there and then freezing and then separating it. So when the gun's off, I keep it around 25. Let's see what it does. 